Well, I would not like to call myself as a singer, mm. but, but you have a good voice. Definitely, I do like to explain when okay. I'm talking about what exactly I mean by this okay. style of playing. So, can we hear something? Sure. That is sure. as ethereal, beautiful, <laughs> melodious, and exotic. So, this particular model which I am playing, it's a Western guitar, purely Western instrument. But I'm going to be producing an Indian song on it. Okay. So, the most commonly perceived and liked by all, Kalyani. Okay. Recognize it. That's guitar. <laughs> People have not known the difference between instruments may not be able to make out, but but knowing what a guitar is mm. and and you're playing classical Indian music, I mean it's 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 a godly experience. But uh, you also produce some exotic sounds with this, don't you? Can True. you play them? Unbelievable. But how did you actually, you know, get a guitar to make a sound like this? Is it the, we are using some kind of patching from, from the processor. So, with the kind of a sound being produced by this, the natural sound of the guitar itself is so heavy. Okay. So, <laughs> oh my God, this is unbelievable. Thank you. <laughs> but I'm you still... performed uh, in a lot of places. You perform in Nashville also. Yeah, at the Nashville, we actually got the Nashville Award. Yeah, uh, independent. Uh, the Independent Music Award was different. The separate. Nashville Award was a joint, just plain folks, they call it as in okay. America. But the Independent Award was like where you excelled and uh, you were rated uh, yeah. actually even above uh, Mr. Ilya Raja and Mr. Rahman. Yeah, that was the Nashville Award. Nashville the, Award, yes, yeah. okay. That's where the award got the first uh, in composer's selection. Okay, yeah. but that was a big honor. And well, it's uh, their choice. I would, you know, I'm still. Okay, but what did you by. actually play there? There's a particular piece called Devi in our album, Lehra, which mm. is uh, a composition in Bhairavi Raga. Mm. But you played for a lot of other groups too, right? Bands. I, have, I, I still play for lots of people. Okay. Lots but of you don't uh, perform independently. I do perform independently also. Okay. The the thing is, you know, like I've been trying to, like as we initially spoke about how Indian musicians are trying to be only soloists. Okay. So that's where I really differ. I would like to be a part of an ensemble. And contribute. Go. Exactly. And that's more important because so, only then you can know whether you're working or not. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> Correct. That's I mean, true. to be able to independently appreciate somebody is one different thing. But Correct. when you see that working in a band, uh, that's a different experience altogether. That's true. Uh, but I think for that you need a very different attitude also. Yeah, that, that I, you need I to train attitude, with other people, you cannot just... Attitude is something what makes musicians in my opinion. Okay. Rather than musicians having attitude. Okay, which are the other instruments that you play? I think you've innovated something else also. Yeah, attitude. I'll show my innovation also. It's a particular Hawaiian guitar once again. Okay, can we see that? Sure, sure, sure. sure.
<laughs> so, so, so you play classical music with this. And what are the uh, things that have modified? This is basically a regular, if you look at it, it looks like any regular guitar. Okay. But then you have got the whole sympathetic strings. Okay. Which makes it somewhat like close to a sarod, if you have observed a sarod. Okay. The design is basically based on a sarod. Fine. Mm -hmm. So you're going to play yeah. Hindustani. I'm going to just play a little piece of Bairu. a lot of flats and high notes, right? The combination itself is like that. It actually looks like uh, these instruments were born for Indian music. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, that's uh, true, that's true. Because what you said is very true, like, you know, there's nothing like an instrument it has been, uh, like, created for Western music or Indian music. As long as it can produce music, exactly. it can be used anywhere. And uh, the same thing, I'm sure, that you can produce Western music too. And right. do you do play? Western yeah, means like in some some kind of. Uh, can can you, can you play? Uh, yeah, a bit. feel that it's extremely essential for a musician, particularly as a composer, to know both kinds of music, or not just uh, like even in India, not just Hindustani, but also the other forms like the folk traditions, uh, Carnatic. Very true. Uh, See, it means uh, a composer uh, should yeah. not be limited only to saying okay, that have I have a global am sense of exactly. music. A okay. composer mm -hmm. should not have any limits. Because you are a composer. Yeah. 